Saskatchewan, you have clear skies. You will see the sunshine there today. Now, we've got a low-pressure system brewing here in the U.S. Midwest, moving into northwestern Ontario, southern Quebec. And the cloud is coming to sit right on top of us here in Montreal. We'll be gray and socked in by this evening. Now, the reason for all this cloud, this change in weather, is this low-pressure system at, coming at us from the west, moving over the Great Lakes. It's bringing those clouds I mentioned, the showers. We'll be here possibly by tonight, definitely by tomorrow, so it's a great day to stay in, eat your turkey, your pumpkin pie, spend time with friends and family. A little bit of a break on Tuesday, but that won't last long. The loonie is continuing to rise. We've hit as high as $1.10 US, and we're seeing a lot of excitement. The question is, is it worth all this excitement? Are Canadians seeing any real advantage? We're certainly not seeing lower prices on goods in stores. In 1907, the Quebec Bridge collapsed, killing 76 steel workers. 33 of those killed were Mohawks from the Ganawagi Reservation near Montreal. The Aboriginal community has begun construction on a monument to mark the anniversary and honor their dead. Part of the design is a replica of the only piece of the bridge left standing that fateful day. A granite monument has also been created. Vancouver 2010. The Olympics are getting closer. The Vancouver Olympic Organizing Committee is looking for 25,000 volunteers. Mangled car wrecks are a common sight on Quebec roads. All too often, alcohol is a factor in these accidents. Drivers aged 19 to 24 show the highest rates of impaired driving. However, one young Montreal entrepreneur is doing his best to bring those numbers down and keep Montreal roads safe. Welcome to the Elite Party Bus. The bus is the brainchild of former club DJ Greg Gottlieb. He was inspired to start this business because he witnessed many people drinking and driving. Here beside me is Norman Irby. Mr. Irby is the owner of Restaurant Garçon. Norman, what's the inspiration behind this great success? It's a group of young individuals who are very creative. Excellent. That sounds like a good combination. You've obviously made it work. Now, I hear you have a slightly kinky dessert on the menu. Tell me a little about that. Yeah, so again, it's our creativity. Uh, on occasion, we do blindfold people and uh, feed them ourselves. So, uh, yeah. I love it. It's a slightly risque feel. Yes. Thank you, Norman. There you have it. A taste, so to speak, of what's available here at Restaurant Garçon. This is Emily Patterson hoping to stick around and sample some of that dessert. Now back to you in the studio.